Hello, Gemini. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Gemini placements for the week of whatever is in the description or in the title, because I have no freaking clue at this time. Uh, like last week of February. I don't know, but you guys know how energy and time is. It's all fluid. It's whenever this resonates for you. Don't forget to check out your other placements and hit that thumbs up, please. It is greatly appreciated. Yes, we are in a very different place. And I actually am grooving hardcore on the vibe in this location. So let's see what is going on for Gemini. Your first card out, Gemini, is the High Priestess of Earth. Mmm. Number three, getting grounded. I like this. Home. You may be... It seems as though if you have recent... Whether or not you've recently moved, you are moving things around in your home, in your environment. You're feeling more at home in your own environment. Mmm. I like that. Along with Alpha Centurions, Foresight, Planning, and Strategy. Okay, okay. So you are feeling the vibes and you are making decisions. All right. Now this is the reason why it's all happening. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. The reason why this reading is happening in the first place for Gemini, please. You are definitely making strategies. Egypt. Because right now, <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible. Okay, we're going to go with this a couple of ways. First thought, the first thought I got for you is that currently, and I've never gotten this message out of this card before, is that you feel that your home is a tomb. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Oh my God. All right. So you are planning, you are strategizing to get out of your tomb, to break free. And this has a lot to do with your environment. This has everything to do with your environment. Now this could be your body as well. Okay. So you could be planning on going on a diet. First card out is Knight of Swords. That's a very interesting first card out, followed by the Strength, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. You are deaf. Okay, for whoever I am hitting for with this reading, remember, check your other signs, of your other placements. You are definitely not happy with where you're at currently. All right, can we just say that? But you're holding on because it's something that you're used to. You are definitely not happy. You are planning, you are strategizing on how to move forward. There is information coming in, strength, again, with the Three of Cups. You know what you want, and it's not where you're at, all right? Now, this, yeah, okay, it could be work. It could be work, but I think for most of you, this is going to be your, your, like, physical home. Hmm. You have information coming in that's going to help you move forward. You are going to be cautious about this. You're strategizing. Okay. You're strategizing. Carefully. Five of Pentacles. Holy crap. Strength on top of the strength. Are you serious? Seven of Swords. Look at this. You got the Seven of Swords twice. King of Wands. You feel like wherever you are at, it is sucking the life out of you. Okay? You do not feel at home in your current environment, whether this is work or your physical home or your body. But whatever it is, it is sapping your strength your vitality it is sucking the life out of you and you feel as though you're in your in a tomb can but you are holding on you are absolutely holding on look at this strength on top of strength massive leo energy here okay now we do have what is it a full moon and a leo coming up right now i believe as i'm speaking so you're going to be having some definite changes wherever Leo sits in your chart. I would look that up 
if I were you. You are, you are planning, you are making plans to take action because you may even, someone may be stealing from you at home. I don't know. But just the environment itself seems as though it is not healthy for you. Six of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the star, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Keep with your planning. Keep with your strategizing. You know what you need to do. You will have victory. Queen of Swords. She's all about being analytical, right? The strategizing. She knows what to cut and when. You're going to be having information come in that's going to... I'm getting now, see, hold on. You're getting information that's not going to help. Let me pull another card on that. But have the strength no, I don't know. Is that what it is? Ten of Swords. With the Ace of Swords. You're going to have information come in that you're not going to like. Okay? But you have the strength to hold on and to keep moving forward. Because where you are at, I'm not joking, Gemini. Look at your environment. Even if this is not hitting for you, look at your car, look at your bedroom, look at, at your work. There's something in your environment that is draining your energy, okay? There's something or someone around you that is just zapping you like crazy, and it's time that you move forward and get away from it. I don't know what this is about necessarily. It's a general reading. You can contact me for a personal reading if you want. Let's see if we can get anything else for you. But you have the foresight. You know that it's coming. You know that something is coming. Okay? You know that there needs to be change in your physical environment because where you're at is just it's suffocating you. Ten of Gabrielle, ask your angels for helpful people. King of Gabrielle, keep your eyes on the big picture. Experience that leads to success. Ooh, we got two more. Wow, you got a lot of wands here. Ace of Gabrielle, Ace of Wands, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, with the four of Ariel, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you spend and save money. So that's the four of pentacles. With the ace of wands, be open to the change. Are you holding on to a toxic environment because you don't want to change? You're afraid of the change. Is that what this is? I think so. I think that you're holding on to some type of a situation here that is just sucking you dry, but it's up to you. You keep saying, oh no, I can do this. I can do this. That's what that those two strength cards. I can do this. I absolutely can make it through this. It's time to be kind and loving and gentle with yourself. And to take yourself out of any environment that is sucking you dry. All right. All right. Card of advice for, for Gemini, please. Card of advice for Gemini, please. You will have... It feels as though... For some of you that your hand is going to be forced just for your own um, sense of self spirits trying to shake you wake you the senachal oh yeah 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 
Yeah, yeah. Number 12 of Earth. More Earth. Now, Gemini, what you may not know about Earth energy and High Priestess of Earth, home, Egypt, this is all Earth energy, okay? You need to bring some air energy into this. The thing about Earth energy is that it either moves extremely slowly or it's a landslide, okay? An earthquake. So it looks as though an earthquake or a landslide is on its way because you have been refusing to give up an environment. All right, so this is a big heads up and a big warning. Seneca, listen to very carefully to what I'm about to read. Servant, administrator, mediator, justice, law, organized, trustworthy, and loyal. Service to a higher purpose, loyalty to authority, speak for others. Is your power real or borrowed? Follow the rules or directions given. Use your personal power wisely. Question everything. Blind loyalty makes one blind. Is your loyalty, and this is, I'm feeling this in reverse, okay? And I'm going to read you what it is for as a potential blockage, because that would be in reverse. Is your loyalty to another blinding you to their true nature or intentions? Is it creating tension in your relationships with others? Are you blindly following another's lead and embracing what could be seen as a pack mentality? Ask yourself if you could do harm to another because the one you serve asks you to. Are you willing to sacrifice your own integrity and reputation in order to serve or follow a person who may not have your best interests at heart? A reversed senatorial of earth asks you that you do not follow blindly. Question everything. Look to the reasons and motives behind your chosen leader's actions and ask yourself if you are serving them for the greater good or for their own good. Gemini, you are in some sort of a situation that is toxic and you know this. It's time for you to start planning the great escape, okay? Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for now. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao.